in asexual reproduction and it is asexual reproduction is common among the single cell organism or in plants and in animals which have a simpler body organization okay now so what are this characteristic of asexual reproduction i will repeat one more time and then we will start a type of reproduction okay now sexual reproduction involves the organisms which have very simpler body organization whether it may be a plant or whether it may be an animal but those have very simpler body organizations and it generally occurs in unicellular organism okay in single cell organism and whatever the offspring are produced by this asexual reproduction is produced by only single parents and that are produced with or without involvement of gamete formation okay and whatever the offspring are produced that are genetically also and morphologically similar to each other siblings are also same and that genetically and morphologically siblings are also same and not only that these siblings also similar genetically and morphologically similar to their parents so they are very much identical to each other that's why they are known as clones okay so offsprings are produced by the asexual reproduction are known as clones okay in protista for example bacteria right and in monera example is amoeba amoeba okay here what happened here the parents body divided into two and that two give rise to a new individual okay it means that here the cell division is a mode of reproduction which cell division cell division is a mode of reproduction okay and one more important point is that the meiosis does not occurs in a sexual reproduction okay the unit of reproduction is commonly formed from the somatic cell of their parents one more important point regarding this asexual reproduction is that here the unit of reproduction is commonly formed formed from the somatic cells of the parent okay so now we are going to study about the type of asexual reproduction okay so so now the types of asexual reproduction so as we know that the production of the offspring without union of gametes is known as asexual reproduction okay now this has asexual reproductions are classified into five types or they are classified into five types that are first is called as fission second is called as budding third is called as fragmentation fourth is called as regeneration and last is called as spore formation or that is also known as sporulation or also known as sporulation okay now we will start with the fusion so the asexual reproductions is 
further classified into five different types that are first is called as fusion second is called as budding third is called as fragmentation fourth is called as regeneration and fifth is called as sporulation or we can say that it's a spore formation so we will start with this fusion so what is fusion fusion is a asexual mode of reproduction that is common in most of this unicellular organism okay this fusion okay is a sexual mode of reproduction which is generally common in unicellular organism it has further two types this fusion is further divided into two type that is called as binary fusion and multiple fusion okay this fusion or further it's generally occurs in unicellular organism it further divided two type this is binary fusion and multiple fusion so what do you mean by binary fusion is a division of parents body into two small and nearly equal size of daughter division what is form 2 parents body is divided into okay it may or in a way i can say that the division of parents body into into two small and nearly equal sized daughter individual okay Okay, that is called as binary fusion. Okay, what do you mean by binary fusion? The parents' body divided into two small, nearly equal size of daughter individual. This known as binary fusion. But this binary fusion is again divided into four types. This binary fusion again divided into four types. First is called as simple binary fusion. second is called longitudinal binary fusion third is called as oblique binary fusion and fourth is called as transverse binary fusion okay now we are talking binary fusion so we know that what is binary fusion right now this binary fusion again divided into four type one two three and four first is simple binary fusion second longitudinal then oblique binary fusion then transverse binary fusion okay now what is mean by simple binary fusion here when the division occurs in any plate when the division occurs in any plates but it always right angle to the elongated dividing nucleus okay that is called a simple binary fusion okay it means that when the division occurs in any plane but it is always right angle to the elongated nucleus okay that type of fusion is known as simple binary fusion and it generally occurs in amoeba okay and it generally occurs in amoeba as we know that here i'm drawing up here this is amoeba right okay so this is cytoplasm and this is nucleus and what is this is a parenchyma 
right it undergoes division this is the first diagram second what will happen here the elongation of nucleus is occurs how it occurs it reduces first is a reduction of pseudo pseudopodia is occur it means c nucleus is a here the elongation of nucleus is occurs elongation of nucleus is occurs again reduction of and reduction of pseudopodia is occurs right this is second what will happen next to that apart from this there is elongation or division okay next what will happen division of a nucleus followed by the cytoplasm so here i can draw the diagram like that the two nucleus are there okay still their bodies are connected with this small wall between this cytoplasm okay so it means what will we see in this diagram we can see in this way division of nucleus and cytoplasm okay and what will be the next step what we observe yes definitely once they divide the nucleus followed by the cytoplasm then two separate daughter nuclei are formed so here they form as we know that this is a amoeba is a irregular in shape okay so you can draw in any way so these are a two daughter nuclei two daughter individual this is a shape. so what is this diagram shows the binary feature in amoeba cell the name of figure binary Fusion in amoeba. Okay, this is a simple binary fusion. Okay, what is it is? It the parent's body here. The division is occurs in any plane, but these are always right angle to the nuclear. Always right angle to the elongated nucleus. Okay, you can see. Okay, that's why this type of division is occurs in amoeba, and this type of division is known as simple binary feature. Then we will see next that is called a longitudinal binary feature. Okay, so what happen in longitudinal binary feature? When its division occurs along a longitudinal axis, it means division occurs. longitudinal axis it means standing we cut from this we cut in vertical view okay so that is called longitudinal axis when we cut from this straight line okay vertical line this is longitudinal and this type of longitudinal binary features occurs in euglena and what is cella and warty cella these are two example of longitudinal binary feature okay what is this okay first is euglena and what is cella so what happen in longitudinal binary fusion here the division occurs in a vertical line okay in longitudinal axis that's called a longitudinal binary fusion and it's occurs in euglena and warty cella then we will see oblique binary fusion here the division occurs at the angle to the transfer axis 
division occurs at an angle to the transfer axis okay here it is a right angle triangle here the angle is formed at the transfer axis and they are cut from there this this type of binary fusion is known as oblique binary fusion okay and this is generally occurs in uh, ceratium ceratium and uh, goniolus Okay, these are two organisms. In this organism, this oblique binary fusion is occur. So all are unicellular organisms. Okay, and the last but not least, so transverse binary fusion. What happened in transverse binary fusion? Okay, so here the division occurs along the transfer axis. This yes, dear division occurs occurs along. The transverse axis in just like horizontal. Okay, so this type of division is known as transverse binary fusion, and this type of division occurs in organism that is paramecium diatoms and. Uh, you know planaria okay so these are this example of transverse binary fusion okay then we will study the multiple fusion okay what do you mean by multiple fusion here it is a division of parents body into many daughter cells into many This parent's body get divided into many daughter cells. And this type of division is known as multicellular. Uh, sorry, it's a multi multiple division. Okay, and this type of divisions occurs in plasmodium. It also occurs in amoeba. Okay, and. Monocystis. It means all the protozoa. All protozoa. Okay. This is called as multiple fusion. So what will happen in multiple fusion? You can see inside. I'm just draw the diagram here of multiple fusion. So you can see the many daughter nucleus, new daughter cells are formed, and at the same time, so many numbers of daughter individuals are formed. Okay, so that is called as multiple fusion. Okay, and the plane of fusions may be different in different organisms. Always, the plane of fusion may be different for different organisms. Fine. The next we will see the budding. Next we will see the budding. Okay. Next is budding. So we will see budding. Okay. As we already discussed uh, this topic, you already used, you all are studied in 10th standard. Okay, so in budding, what will happen? The new individual arises as an outgrowth that is called as bud. Okay, the, the new individual is forming, 
firstly form a bud and from from this parent's body and this bird is grow mature and finally detach from this parent body okay so this is process is known as bud so what will happen in case of bud here the new individual the new individual arises as and outgrowth right and this outgrowth nothing but the bud okay so new individual arises and outgrowth that outgrowth is known as bud from where from the parent okay and this bud grows develop and develops a organ like that of parents like that of parent and then usually detach itself this process is known as budding okay and where the budding is occurs budding occurs in hydra it occurs in cycon it occurs in yeast okay how it occurs so see first okay is a mouth this is a parent height is a parent body okay parent body and from from a small outgrowth you can see here that is called as young bud this is a mouth of hydra okay and what will happen now once the bud is from now this bud start mature so here growing bud okay this is a parent body always draw the diagram okay this is a e and this is a second one that okay and what will happen next once the little outgrowth is formed from the parent's body that outgrowth is known as bud now this bud is start growing okay now once they grow then again it this buds become matured and is totally look like of their parents okay this is a matured but and this is a parent body and what will happen finally this mature but is detached itself from this parent's body okay so here i'm draw here i will draw like that This is a daughter height, and this one is parent height. Okay, so through the process, you can observe that what I told you. This new individual is a, this is a new individual that is in a parent's body of a parent height. Okay, that arises a little outgrowth. You can see here that is called as bud. Okay. Okay, now this bud is grow and fully develop and it's mature and finally detach from this parent's body to form a new daughter hydra. Okay, that process is known as budding. That process is known as budding. The process of budding is also known as regulation. 
this process is also known as regulation okay but you know uh, it's occurs in hydra but it also occurs in east also right in east what will happen is a, this is a parent cell is there parent cell is there then what will happen Now, the small outgrowth is from from these parent cells. And followed by this elongation. This is a nucleus, right? Now here, the elongation of nucleus is occurs. The next what will happen? Division of nucleus. Okay. So here the bird is there, parent's body is there, and here the bird. Okay. This is a nucleus. It has their own nucleus. Okay, this is bud. Okay, and it's finally detached. So this is occurs in east. This is occurs in east. But you know that in east division is unequal. It's not equal. There is equal division. No, one is you can see unequal division. One is small, one is bigger one. Okay, so in east their division is unequal. I am talking about the east. Okay, is the division is. Equal no division is here the division is unequal and the small bird is produced and that remains attached initially to the parents right so this budding stage in the east this budding stage in the east is resembles with the genus this characteristic is resemble means coordinate with the one genus that is called as torula. Again, I am repeating. What will happen in east? The division is unequal. That we know that. Okay, and from that, a small bird is produced. You can see here. Okay, and that remains attached initially to this parent's body. Okay, and this budding stage, this budding stage, it resembles in east. This resembles with the one genus that is called as Torula. Okay, therefore, this condition is called as Torula stage. This condition. This condition is called as or known as Torula stage, and this process is known as and the process is known as Torulation. Torulation. It means when the question is like a sexual reproductions torulation is a mode of asexual relation so it always occurs in east okay so what do you mean by torulation yes in east the division is unequal and a small bird is produced that remains attached in to the parent's body this budding stage is known as torula stage and the process is known as torulation and it occurs in east right so next a sexual mode of reproduction we will see that is called as fragmentation. Okay, so we will see what do you mean by fragmentation. So fragmentation is another mode of asexual reproduction. Fragmentation is another mode of asexual reproduction in which organism breaks into the pieces and pieces two or more pieces and each piece give rise to a new organism this is known as fragmentation okay so what happened in fragmentation it is here the organism 
organism breaks into pieces right and each piece give rise to a new organism okay this process is known as fragmentation or in another word i can say that fragmentation occurs by breaking a parent's body in another way i can explain the process of fragmentation it is fragmentation is occurs by breaking of the parent body into two or more parts more parts and each of, of which grow and each of which grow to form grow to form a, to form an independent individual okay this known as this process is known as fragmentation so where the fragmentation is occurs in which organism fragmentation is occurs so fragmentation occurs in um mm, uh algae like spirogyra okay it occurs in planaria it occurs uh, apart from the planaria it also occurs in bryophytes that is bryophytes uh in bryophytes uh, such as marchantia and rishia so these are the few organism where the fragmentation is occurs okay so how the fragmentation occurs in planaria we will see so first this is the structure of planaria or we can say this is a parent planaria right now this parent planaria breaks this parent planaria into two or more parts okay suppose it cut from i will show it's 